हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मार्क्सवेल्स थर्मोडाइनमिक रिलेशंस लेट्स एन मार्क्सवेल डिराइव्ड द थर्मोडाइनमिक रिलेशंस बिटवीन द थर्मोडाइनमिक वेरिएबल्स एंड थर्मोडाइनमिक पोटेंशियल्स so we know the thermodynamic variables four thermodynamic variables are basically known as temperature t volume v entropy s and pressure p these are the four thermodynamic variables temperature volume entropy pressure again four thermodynamic potentials थर्मोडायनामिक पोटेंशियल्स अच्छा इंटरनल एनर्जी यू हेलमोएज फ्री एनर्जी F gives free energy gives free energy or we can say it as the gives function g enthalpy h internal energy helmholtz free energy gives free energy and enthalpy these are four thermodynamic potentials these are four thermodynamic variables these are four thermodynamic potentials maxwells derive the relation between the thermodynamic variables and thermodynamic potential which is known as maxwells thermodynamic relations he derived four relations related to these variables and potentials taking into considerations how they how he derived the relations he used the concept the order of differentiation use the concept the order of differentiation of an analytic function of the two variables is irrelevant so example as example using that concept he derive the thermodynamic relations the example if phi phi is a thermodynamic potential thermodynamic potentials and xi and xj xi and xj are two different natural variables 
डिफरेंट नेचुरल वेरिएबल्स फॉर द पोटेंशियल देन मैक्सवेल रिलेशन फॉर दैट थर्मोडायनामिक पोटेंशियल and those variables is given as the relation is written like this del by del x a del phi del x x i again that is same as del by del x j and that is del xi del phi del xc these are cross differentiation by using that concept maxwell proposed four relations as thermodynamic relations given by maxwell using thermodynamic variables and thermodynamic potentials let we have to discuss one by one first relation maxwell's first thermodynamic relation first thermodynamic relation here he take the thermodynamic potential as thermodynamic potential as internal energy here he taking into consideration as internal energy internal energy is taking into consideration so how he derive first thermodynamic relation we know from first law of thermodynamics as dq is equal to du plus pdv again we use the second law of thermodynamics dq is equal to tds du plus pdv therefore du is equal to tds minus pdv look at that particular equation therefore that equation indicates that u means internal energy is a function of that is varying entropy and volume that is a function of entropy and volume the, therefore we can get two partial differentiation by using that of internal energy therefore we have del u by del s at constant volume constant volume what will be the result look at that particular equation when volume treated as constant so that term will be zero only that term exists so du by ds is equal to t and our constant entropy what will be that value so del u by del v at con constant entropy in case of constant entropy that term will be zero that term only exists so del u by del v is equal to minus p minus p now we use the concept of how he derive the relations by using this mathematical equation as thermodynamic potentials and thermodynamic variables means we just cross differentiate these two variables these two relations now cross differentiating on cross differentiating d 
differentiating we get means we differentiate that with respect to v and that with respect to s so what we have we differentiate that with respect to v so del by del v that is del u del s are constant volume here is that of constant s constant s okay is equal to that differentiate with respect to s that is del by del s that is del u del v and constant s here the constant volume or that bracket term del u by del s are constant volume is equal to temperature t that is del by del v that is temperature constant s is equal to del u by del v minus p so del by del s minus p constant volume or write it del t by del v are constant s is equal to del p by del s are constant v here is the negative sign this is the maxwell's first thermodynamic relation we derived in this manner by taking internal energy here we taking internal energy as consideration internal energy again we derive maxwell's second thermodynamic relation here we write maxwell's second thermodynamic relations here we use the second thermodynamic variable as helmholtz free energy is taking into considerations so here we use helmholtz free energy we use helmholtz free energy so helmholtz free energy you know f is equal to u minus ts u is the internal energy t is the temperature s is the entropy now differentiating what we have that is exact differentiable these variables are so df is equal to du minus d of ts is equal to du differentiation of first term second term t is constant again differentiation of second term first term t is constant so it will be s dt minus t ds t ds is equal to dq so du minus s t t minus d q in place of t d s that is d q again according to first of thermodynamics d q is equal to that is du minus s t t so that is du minus p d v so du du cancel out we have d f is equal to minus s d t minus p d v so here we can say the helmholtz free energy is a function of entropy and volume s and v again it has two partial differentiation so the partial differentiation look like this the del f by del s are constant volume so our constant volume that term will be zero that term exists so it will be minus s 
एंड डेल एफ बाय डेल भी look at that equation here that is tds stt minus tds dq dq is equal to du plus pdv so that is that is temperature and volume okay okay that is the function of temperature and volume this is the variable in temperature variable in volume so temperature and volume so that is del f del f del t del v del s so i write here that equation again that is del f del t at constant volume constant volume that term will zero that term exists that is minus s and del f by del v at constant temperature temperature that term will be exist that is minus p now on cross multiplication what we have on cross multiplication on cross sorry on cross differentiation on cross differentiation on cross differentiation cross differentiation we get means differentiate that term with respect to v and that term with respect to t so we have del by del t del by del t that term del f del by del v okay that is del by del v here del by del v of del f by del t are constant v is equal to here del by del t that is del f by del v are constant t here that term as constant t that term as constant v okay so del by del v that term will be minus s constant t is equal to del by del t that term minus p are constant what are constant v so we write it in the manner like this del s by del v and constant t negative is equal to del p by del t and constant v negative 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 cancel out that will be del s by del v and constant t is equal to del p by del t constant v that is the maxwells second thermodynamic relation maxwells second thermodynamic relations taking in consideration the potential as helmholtz free energy proceed like this and finally get second one now maxwells third thermodynamic relation take maxwells third thermodynamic relation here we take another thermodynamic potential that is gives free energy here we take gives free energy we know gives free energy that is g is equal to s minus ts 
एच इज द एंथलपी एंड एच इज नोन एज यू प्लस पी भि इंटरनाल एनर्जी प्लस प्रेसर भल्यूम एच माइनस टी एस सिंस दिज टर्म्स आर एक्जा डिफरेनसीएबल सो डी जी इज इक्वाल टू डी यू प्लस डी पी भि माइनस डी टी एस एगेन वी डिफरेनसीएट दिज टू टर्म्स सो दैट इज डी यू प्लस दैट इज पी डी भी प्लस भि डी पी फर दैट दैट इज टी डी एस माइनस एस डी टी सो डी यू प्लस पी डी भी दैट इज डी क्यू प्लस भि डी पी टी डी एस दैट डी क्यू माइनस डी क्यू माइनस एस टी टी डी क्यू डी क्यू कैंसल आउट वी हैव भि डी पी माइनस एस डी टी तो डी जी इज इक्वल टू भि डी पी माइनस एस टी टी सो जी इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर नाउ इट हेज टू पार्सल डिफ्रेंसीएसन सो डेल जी बै डेल पी एट कन्स्टाट टेम्परेचर एट कन्स्टाट टेम्परेचर दैट रोम विल जीरो इट विल बी भि एंड डेल जी बै डेल टी एट कन्स्टाट प्रेसर दैट टर्म विल बी जीरो दैट इज माइनस एस नाउ ऑन क्रॉस डिफ्रेंसीएसन व्हाट वी हैव ऑन क्रॉस डिफ्रेंसीएसन ऑन क्रॉस डिफ्रेंसीएसन वी हैव वी गेट वी डिफ्रेंशिएट दैट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टी दैट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू पी सो डेल बाय डेल टी डेल जी बाय डेल पी एंड कन्स्टाट टेम्परेचर और कन्स्टाट प्रेसर इज इक्वाल टू दैट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू प्रेसर डेल बी डेल बाय डेल पी ऑफ डेल जी बाय डेल टी एंड कन्स्टाट प्रेसर हियर वी टेक एज कन्स्टाट टेम्परेचर नाउ putting the respective values here so del by del t that value is v at constant pressure is equal to del by del p that value is equal to minus s at constant temperature so that can be written as del v by del t at constant pressure is equal to del s by del p at constant temperature taking as negative sign here this is the maxwells थार्ड थर्मोडायनामिक रिलेशन डेल बी बाय डेल टी एट कन्स्टाट प्रेसर इज माइनस डेल एस बाय डेल पी एट कन्स्टाट टेम्परेचर बाय टेकिंग इन कन्सिडरेशन गिव फ्री एनर्जी ना फाइनल वन इट इज लास्ट फोर्थ वन मार्क्सवेल्स फोर्थ थर्मोडायनामिक रिलेशन यर मार्क्सवेल्स फोर्थ थर्मोडायनामिक रिलेशन Maxwell's fourth thermodynamic relation. Here we take last thermodynamic potential that is enthalpy. Here enthalpy, thermodynamic potential is taken in consideration. So we know enthalpy H is equal to U plus P B internal energy plus pressure and volume. Since that is exact differentiable, so D H is equal to D U plus D of P B. और डी एच इज इक्वल टू डी यू प्लस पी डी भी प्लस भी डी पी डी यू प्लस पी डी भी दैट इज डी क्यू डी क्यू डी क्यू प्लस भी डी पी लुक एट दैट इक्वेशन एक्जैक्टली व्हाट एपन हियर डी क्यू 
प्लस वी डी पी सो डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू टी डी एस प्लस वी डी पी वी यूज द सेकेंड लॉफ थर्मो डायनामिक्स हियर सो वाट टू हैव डी एच इज इक्वल टू टी डी एस प्लस वी डी पी दैट मीन्स एंथैलपी इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ एंट्रोपी एंड प्रेशर चेंज इन एंट्रोपी चेंज इन प्रेशर सो एंथैलपी इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ एंट्रोपी एंड प्रेशर सो इट हैज टू डिफरेंशियल्स देर फोर डेल एच by del s at constant pressure the term will be zero it has t and del h by del p at constant entropy constant entropy that term will be zero so that will be v here now on cross multiplication we have the relation on sorry on cross differentiation on cross differentiation on cross differentiation we have that is del by del p del s by del s at constant pressure here is a constant entropy is equal to that is del by del s del s by del p at constant entropy is the constant pressure now So del by del p here is the value of t s is equal to del by del s that is v pressure or del t by del p at constant s del v by del s at constant p and the Maxwell's fourth thermodynamic relation. so here we derive maxwell's fourth thermodynamic relations this is the fourth one this is the third one this is the second one and this is the final this is the first one these equations are derived by taking into consideration the thermodynamic variables and thermodynamic potentials so here we take first thermodynamic relation taking internal energy in consideration second one second thermodynamic relation taking as helmholtz free energy taking into considerations and third one gives free energy taking into consideration and final one fourth thermodynamic relation take enthalpy taking into consideration now how we can easily memorize this four maxwells thermodynamic relations we have to use short trick short trick short trick to memorize maxwells four thermodynamic relations first we write the four thermodynamic relations one by one four relations first one डेल टी डेल भी कंस्टेंट एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस डेल पी बाय डेल एस एंड कंस्टेंट भी सो सेकंड वन डेल पी बाय डेल टी कंस्टेंट भी डेल एस बाय डेल भी एंड कंस्टेंट टी देन थर्ड वन देन थर्ड वन डेल भी by del t at constant p del s by del p at constant t the fourth one del t by del p at constant s del v by del s at constant p so how these four maxwells thermodynamic relations are easily memorize so here we use a memnonic technique we here a word you have to memorize tendulkar tendulkar you know is a famous cricketer but here we, we have to memorize tendulkar very special person very special 
person tendulkar very special person yeah, the first letter of the words like tendulkar t very v special s p compression these four words are, are arranged like the manner as 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 means first t started here t v s p and again t started here so first case first relation how you derive first relation first relation for first relation we take like this 1 2 3 4 so tendulkar very special person tendulkar very special person 1 2 3 4 like this we take its differentiation means we take partial differentiation del t del v del p del s and we use what its corresponding v s as constant here v is constant and equalize it ok next one 2 means first we start t here tendulkar very special person now t started from here from two line that is tendulkar very special person in this way t started so again that will be del p del t del s del v here we take v here we take t that is the second one next third one how you derive third one now t starts from here then look are very special person so I started T here. Tendulkar, very special person. Dividing this del S, del P, del V, del T. Now taking T here as constant, taking P here as constant. Okay. Next fourth one. Now T started from that line. Tendulkar, very special person. So here I started T here, Tendulkar, very special person. So it will be del V, del S, del T, del P. Here P as constant, here S as constant. These four relations are derived in this manner. This is the short trick. We take Tendulkar, very special person, like the order first T here. Then look at very special person, then T here, then look at very special person, then T here, T here, like this. T here, T here, T here, and T here. In this manner, we take the four relation. Next question arises, how we take the negative signs here? So, remember that, what we think? Either we take these two or these two into consideration. Means, if we take T and V, if where in that of equation t and v are there we take negative sign t and v where taken as negative sign or or when s and p s and p they are also negative sign either that one or that one is taken into consideration for sign convention for that of trick so here you take T V here, here T V here, uh, sorry here T V here and here uh, uh, here uh, T V here. So you can introduce the negative sign also here, negative sign here, also the negative sign here. Either that person will be negative or that person will be negative. There will be no confusion. If I take that way to sign conversion S and P here S and P will be same here S and P will be there. So, these two are negative, negative, all these are positive. 
in this way by using this short trick we can derive the four maxwell's thermodynamic relations these are the tricks these are the memnonics a tendulkar very special person by taking as t v s p tendulkar very special person in this way then t here then look at very special person then t here and take the partial differentiation like this and take the sign convention using that either t v are combining we use negative sign or we can say where s and p are combining we take the negative signs that that side negative that side there will be no confusion in the overall equation is there so with the help of this video lecture we understand what is maxwell's thermodynamic relations with the maxwell's this is the thermodynamic variables these are thermodynamic potentials this is the basic principle or the way how he derive the thermodynamic relations this is the way maxwell's first thermodynamic relations taking internal energy into consideration maxwell's second thermodynamic relation maxwell's third thermodynamic relation and finally maxwell's fourth thermodynamic relation and finally how to remember this maxwell thermodynamic relation by using the short trick this is the short trick tendulkar very special person and how these are arranged and how we take the sign on that of particular equations so with this useful and infinite notes let me wind up this session thank you